Route to a hike. I should try recording just this. Like recording with OES. Uh, recording, you know. Like 10,000 bitrate. So my goal for this run is to go fast. Um, I think it's a pretty good goal, honestly. It might work out in the end. Maybe I'll achieve my goal if I do. We'll see though, if that actually is a thing. I, I put another uh, suggestion in the Discord for Odyssey about uh, having t subcategories for player one, uh, one player and two player. And let's see what happens. This is across all, um, like for the, all of the categories on the main leaderboards. Can't tap it because my phone has a bandage on it. Makes sense, honestly. There's no reason why I couldn't, couldn't do it. I may have started my stream a little late. I can't, I, I used to get the setup consistently, now I don't.
Oh yeah. I always miss a comet. There's like the splits in your head. It's fine. I think I may have to practice T-Rex jump again, like... I've been failing at every run. First, I, don't get, I don't get a first try anymore. I used to know how to do it. But... I should not have gone for that. I knew that was gonna fail. That was really awkward. Why did I do that? I shouldn't go for it, because I don't know how to do it. I don't know why I keep going for it. Every run I fail it, so... 
I'm just slower because then I take health and damage. So. I probably should learn it though, because it saves time. But I don't know it, so. Oh, you're talking about that's how I've always been, man. <laughs> you forgot. I mean, what'd you forget? Nothing? I think you're upside down, to be honest. Better watch it, buddy. Or fix it, rather, not watch it. I don't know what you're watching. Oh, you're watching the stream. That's what you're doing. I feel so much better with that, that you don't have to actually, like, you don't have to get out of the bullet bill. You should, like, hit that one spot, you'll blow, it'll blow up the bullet bill, and you can just... Um... No. You'll be pushed upwards, and you can wall jump. Figured as much. Damn. That's a neat idea. Ooh, that was that was spicy. You see that? That was cool, actually. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that before. That was very good. That was a good sand, honestly. That was really cool. They'll throw in the cat first. Very good sand. This might be a gold? But I don't know. I don't think so, actually. I'm not sure what I'm going against, so... <laughs> it's a really good run, segment, or split. Record. 
Oh yeah, let's go. Minus zero. Minus zero. Why did it run, dude? I should learn the strat where you just throw Cappy. Like, jump off the side and throw Cappy from the side instead of going up on that platform. But that's not a big deal, I guess. Was, um, weird. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw McAfee like that. I don't know why. I... Oh, I know why. I know why I did that. Because I didn't, uh, I didn't backflip. So I was like, oh, let me just jump up and throw Cappy so I can sit, stay in the air longer. Like a regular jump. And then I hit him. I think you're upside down, Aaron. Imagine pressing plus. Alright, didn't I die twice in my PB and wooded? Or was it la the last PB? Holy lo spacing speed. Spacing speed. But I actually don't remember if that was my PB or my two the two eleven I had.
How are you doing today, Aaron? Does this game even have bad music? Let's be honest. The answer is no. What? Excuse me, buddy. I don't know why they didn't hit, but whatever. Yeah, some are more than others, but there's no bad song in this game. I know, that happens in a lot of games, any game, though. It's like you're always gonna have songs that are better than others. But this game, I don't think, has any bad songs. They're all good. Like, I really don't have much to complain about this game, except volleyball. <laughs> Jump rope. <laughs> yeah, this one's cool. It sounds like more like old, so like, it sounds like a, like, not like a radio, but like, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like this weird effect. It's unique. I did die in my PB. God dang it. Ugh. I've been messing it up lately. I should practice that. You a SpongeBob vibe? Why is that? Oh yeah, I can tell like a beach, I guess. The typical beach thing where it's like, it's like surfer music. But not, this isn't surfer music, obviously. This is just epic. Yeah, I definitely need to practice um, that jump again. Like I'm, I may, I may even mess with your version, DF. But I've been feeling that a lot lately, and it kind of sucks. Not like dying per se, but just like having to take the the the, the, the grass path instead. Oh, Bowser's is probably one of the best. Like, the... I don't know if it's different themes, I forget. Like, as you progress, like, the last area is different than the other areas. Bowser's is very good. The Bowser 2 is really good. Ah, uh, the... F Obviously, jump up Superstar. Jump Up Superstar, obviously, is like a fantastic. Um, the song that plays on the moon when you're when you arrive in the, the pillar section, like the, the end section of the moon, that song is amazing. Credits is good. Oh, that's just Cascade, so maybe not. Well, they're all, I don't know. Yeah, Cascade is very galaxy esque. I definitely can see it. Like, it feels very galaxy esque. So that epic orchestra, obviously all orchestra, but it's like really epic. I mean, I could see that for sure. Now imagine playing a game that has really good music, but to have music off when you're playing. Can't imagine that. Who would ever do such a thing? It's like a crime. It should be a crime. I think uh, Nighttime Sand Kingdom has a great song. It's really chill. But sad you never. Most. A lot of runs. You don't like. Any percent you never hear it. You don't hear it in this category either. You hear it in World Peace. Like World Peace, Darker Side. And obviously every category after that. That's. More moons. Like, Sand Nighttime is really awesome. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the Necker Brutal fight. Hundred percent, yeah. The Bowser theme, like fight theme. Yeah. Although I got tired of it when I was grinding for coins, like nearing the end of my 100% playthrough. Because I heard that for like two hours straight, and I was like, you're getting sick of it. <laughs> Only not two hours, like an hour and a half at least, or more. Like, I was like, ugh. Dude, you're tired of this song already? Because that one Bowser's extra, uh, secret, or sub area, whatever. The vine. Yeah, same. <laughs> As I just said, it reminds me of grinding for coins for two hours straight. But it's the perfect spot. It's a great spot for grinding. But it just—that's all I think of. That was the last time I heard it, like in in that file. Ah, uh, okay. Eventually, I learned proper strats here and not take damage. But I'm not good yet, and I haven't learned it, so I don't do it. Because I love how I set the map to be up on the D pad, and I don't use it ever. I just don't. Like, it's just too much to do. I don't know. I, I just prefer. Minus. Oh my, okay, I did die twice in my PB here. God. I wasn't sure. Holy crap. <laughs> I have a lot to save here. So I did die twice here, my PB. Once after the the Piranha Mount Moon, and once after I got the Nut Moon. Okay, so that's that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's nice to know. Also, I think my 212 run that I had, which is two PBs ago, or something had a three a 30 minute flat cloud so yeah let's try to beat that let's try to get close to that again now, obviously that run wasn't that good Fat hands, though. I mean, whatever works for you, honestly, better. Is this theme different when when you're fighting Bowser too? I feel like it is. Like the, it definitely is, right? I'm not crazy. The Bowser two theme is different. Yeah, this is very not the same song at all. I don't remember what it sounds like. I already forgot. Or is it the same? Okay, it's the same basic theme. Okay. Oh boy, sub 30. Yeah, my 212 had a really good start, honestly. So. Oh, there is a different song. Oh, okay. It's a better song, I think. Yeah, I get you now. I knew that wasn't gonna work. That was too far for I turned my direction. Dude, I knew that wasn't gonna work either. Come on, dude.
So I made PB. I think I had like 60 extra over 60. I like 10, 60 coins or something. So I want I, I a lot extra. All right, let's remember what to do. I always forget for some reason. Just stupid. Uh oh, that's a problem. I knew that was a problem. I knew that was a problem, dude. I knew that was an issue when I threw the cap. I was like, this is not good. Rip. So now I have to do de another death warp. I'm gonna wait it out. Sucks, man. It doesn't matter what the coin counts per se, because as long as you collect the thousand coins, whatever, that's all you need. But that's kind of unfortunate. That I had an extra death warp. I think my PB also died three times. But hopefully I don't die again, that's all. Do you have a bag of Cheetos? <laughs> Is that why you barged through? Oh, that's hot in this thing. I need to take I'm gonna take it off. So you can see my partnership with Coca-Cola, obviously, that I have, clearly. 100 percent No? Okay. So I guess this is doing routing, obviously, but I saw that the dark, the darker side speed runs when they finish Moon for the first time. So they go back to Moon, but when they finish the Moon Kingdom, right, they have like 151 moons, whereas this category has 173, 171 or something. That's obviously because of, uh, they go back to Kingdoms when they have for cleanup. So that'd be stupid to get more moons and then have to get more anyway later. Oh my god. I've been filming that every run. It's kind of dumb. Can I have some? <laughs> remember, that remember that time I had voltage? And then you went and got voltage because I had voltage and you wanted voltage. That was pretty funny. So I don't know. If, I don't think I'm going against a gold here. But I remember Metro. I think I got a gold, but I had a three cycle fight. So just funny. I'm trying, man. Why do you want my Why do you want me to get my keyboard soon? I don't understand, man. What is your plan? You trying to steal it from me? My precious. I had to pay nine dollars for that thing. Okay, like nine dollars. I come out of my out of my bank account for that. Oh my gosh, my PB, dude. I di so I guess I didn't die my PB here. Rip. Oh my, wow, that death cost me that much. Really? That's, that's unfortunate. Rip, dude. That extra death cost me that much time, that sucks. Man. I didn't, I didn't think it was that much. I thought my PP died an extra time, I guess that was my 211. That died an extra time. 
So I'm trying to remember what PBs did what. I have three PBs on my, in mine, or three runs in mine, and they all did different things. I mean, I could still get two and nine. Literally, I have like a minute to save in Lake, lake Two because I'm not buying in the moon. Kind of embarrassing. I always do that. I mean, I've test. Actually, the first time I ever felt you like, like click the keys of a mechanical keyboard was over winter break. I was with my friend in, in, a, in a Best Buy and. The mechanical keyboard's out, and I tried it, and I was like... Cause it felt good, and the sound was like... Amazing. Also, I don't know, I can't make the cycle anymore. I don't know what I did wrong. I'm doing wrong. My movement's probably too slow. Leading up to that point. I was like, oh my god, dude. Some of my keys also are starting to feel like they're... Well, they're not... No, it's just like a few, like... On the numpad side... You hit me? Okay. Thought I missed that. On the numpad side, um... A few of the keys, like, I, like sometimes I press it, it doesn't recognize it. Or it feels like the keys, like, don't feel that good. I mean, I've had this keyboard for... Three and a half years, so... It'd be nice to have an upgrade, you know. Yeah, true. It also comes with like the the um, what do they call it? key they call it keycaps in the video I watched. There's a review video on the Amazon for it. Keycaps for the WAS WASD keys. It's like they're like curved in more or something. But they're curved slightly so like it fits your finger like the groove of your fingers. Which is really neat, I think. Dude, what? Oh, this is embarrassing. This is bad. I mean, I would have honestly, if I could have, if I had more money, which like, aka more, if I had like, 60 more dollars, I mean, then <laughs> oh no, 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 dude, I got the glitch, dude, I got the rumble thing, oh no, What do I do? Do I cut? Do I lose time and go to the options and turn it off? Or, oh my God, this is bad. I got the rumble glitch. I've had this before. Where it just st doesn't stop rumbling. <laughs> what do I do? Do I lose time and turn off rumble? So I don't feel this rumble all the whole run. Yeah, I've had this the third time. Where it, it, it just rumbles and it just doesn't stop. The controller just keeps rumbling. I hope it doesn't damage it if it's going on for too long. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It, 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 it's not the first time it's happened either. Stop rumbling. <laughs> this is really uncomfortable. Yeah, it's just rumbling constantly. Oh, it fixed itself. Okay, it fixed itself. I guess it gets caught, and then the next time you, you get a rumble thing, it goes, it fixes itself, it goes off. Okay, it stopped. That's weird. What the heck? That's not the first time either, which is strange. Like, I don't know what causes it. It gets stuck on, like, rumbling. 
And then I guess the next time it rumbles, then it like deactivates. I know the funny part. It's happening the same. It's, that's the only spot it's happened to me in. Like, I don't know what, like, what it is. Like that, the only place it's happened is after that fight ended. The only two other times it happened was during practice. When I was learning any percent. That's when it happened. That's weird. She gets stuck rumbling. Maybe something happened in game, and it's like I'm trying to keep. It doesn't like. I don't know. Too much happens at once. Game gets confused. Thinks you're supposed to keep rumbling. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> the game gets confused. Or the controller gets confused. That's really uncomfortable. It just keeps rumbling. I mean, I can always turn off rumble. I don't need rumble. But it feels weird not having rumble on. Because I like having rumble on. It, it adds to it, you know? Is there a thing in the settings, I forget, in the options for this game that has, like, rumble, like, sensitivity? Is that an option? I know, obviously, motion controls, like, that's a, that's an option. But I don't know, is there a sensitivity for rumble as well? Or strength, rather? Maybe having, I, having it set to high is a problem? Like, I don't need it that high. I don't need it either, at all, pun honestly. But, like, minor rumble is all I need. There is... Okay, maybe it's having the high rumble is a problem. I might turn mine back to weak. I don't need it. The only thing I have high, I have motion control things set to high. Because that makes sense. So it's like really responsive. And you can go like, you can look, aim around really fast. But rumble for strong is pointless. But I'll probably say that after this run, I'll change it. Yeah, like it's really strong sometimes. Like that was really strong. I can't believe people that play primes with that rumble. That just sounds like so stupid. Like I like experiencing rumble because it adds more depth to the game. The experience is better, I think. But I think after this run, I'll change it back because I don't need that. It's really dumb and unnecessary. I only need a slight rumble to feel when I'm rolling or jumping, or if there's a moon on the ground. That's it. You know, I don't need to have like rumble like my hands gonna fall off. It's not that. I'm, I'm not exaggerating, but... You know what I mean. Uh... Yeah. Oh yeah, I never practiced this part. I need to fit learn the fast draft for this. this is, I'm always so slow with this part. Also, I think you can climb faster without having to actually climb it. You can jump up, jump up it, throw your hat, jump up, throw your hat, like, to climb really fast, but I don't know what it is. I've never learned it. I should probably learn it, though. There's a lot of strats I need to learn. It's not super necessary, but it would be nice to have these little optimizations. To save more time. It's not hard, probably. Hard too fast. You've, you've you've done it before. It's cool that you're learning the game, so we could talk strats and stuff, and I can compete with you whenever you start running. Actually, hello, eight bit hour. Um, I are you sure you're not upside down? I think you may upside be upside down. I mean, it's probably something I'll opt out of for now. Like, I opt out of, like, the clips. Like, the RC, the RC Moon clip, like... It's a few seconds faster. You know, like, five seconds... No, three or four. Uh... Well, everyone else said it was themselves, so I don't know. I think you need to double-check. Just to be safe. Can't hurt. World record. Dude, imagine if I didn't die the extra time and lost. How much... How far ahead of you right now? I'll be, like, a minute... Over a minute ahead. You're on D on the floor. Yeah, dude. 
But yeah, oh, that, that extra death and loss cost me so much time. Yeah, it cost me 30 seconds. Or 25-ish. That's a lot. I'm a death. Because you have to do two, you do two death warps. But... I do three, because... I threw Cappy, and that screwed me over. Or I threw Cappy and held too long, rather. Oh yeah, Butt Spot's back, by the way. Remember Butt Spot. I haven't had this bot in, like... I, I, I excuse me. It's been a while. I got rid of it. Actually, no, I didn't get rid of the bot ever. It just left the channel. It's like something did updates or something. And it just left the channel. I never brought it back. So like, it, I didn't. I never kicked it myself. I just brought it back. Hey, what's up, Zeke? <laughs> You're upside down, dude. How you doing, Zeke? It is you. You're live. Yeah, I remember you. How can I forget you? Dude, Zeke, do you remember my, uh... When I streamed my playthrough of, uh... Oh, what's it called? Uh, hello? I don't want to do that. Not of hello, but the newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. Do you remember that? And like that last, the space world or whatever, the last world, I kept dying so much. And you kept making comments about it. That was fun times. That was a good hack. If you haven't know what I'm talking about, there's a ROM, there's a hack for, uh, ISO hack, for uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's called newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, and it's basically... I wish that was the main game, because that's how good it is. I'm trying to forget it? Why are you trying to forget it? You did? That was such a good experience. Like, it was basically what New, new Super Mario Wii should have been. Like, it was that good. Like, when a ROM hack is better than the original game, I was bad. It was hard for me, okay? Like, let's be real. I don't remember much of it, but... I, I actually enjoyed playing that. Okay, this is too loud. I enjoyed playing that more than like I like that more than the actual game. <laughs> like it was that good. Like it was. It felt like a brand new game like, in the series or something. Like it was so good. Like playing the, the actual game is boring to me. But that was actually a lot of fun. Didn't the Pasher play that? Or try it? Like, a little while ago or something? You finished it? You finished a speedrun hack? ROM hack? A ROM hack? It was fun. Whew. It was a lot of fun. No, I've never played that game before in my life, dude. I, I, I haven't even heard of it, actually. Should start before 2018? Okay. Cool. How long did you work on it for? No, I'm kidding. See, yeah, I played the game. I played it back in. I first played it back in June of last year, and I finished it in that month. <laughs> Started in June, finished in June. 
And I started playing it recently. I like I stopped playing in July. I started first day of July. I stopped, and I picked it up again like uh, this past week. And I've been playing it again, trying to go for 100%. It's a long process, but it's slowly coming around. It's still a lot to do, but it's coming. It's coming through. It's, it's a lot of fun to play again. I miss the game, honestly. It's a great game. It was a good experience playing that game. Like, it was one of my best. It's, like, a really good game. Dang, VF, you're committed. Eight, seven years? Or six years? But you weren't very active, okay. I, I respect you, though. I respect it. Anytime I try doing ROM hacking, it was for Super Metroid. And, like, I start, I think I started over, like, six times. Because I was never happy with it. Like, I'll do something, and then, like... Because I, I did graphics. I just did, like, level design. I'll try to, like, make it better, you know. And... I just never was happy with it, and I always start over. Probably, it's my biggest problem, though, with it, was that I never planned it out. Like what I should have done was planned out how I wanted to make the how I wanted to make the uh, uh the the areas look the first, but I would like just use the editor and like edit the tiles and stuff, but like without even like planning out first how I wanted it to look. Although that's why kind of, actually I kind of did that though. Like in the editor, I put like fake blocks to outline it. Yeah, because you gotta, like, find stuff, you gotta figure out where items are gonna go, and... If you wanna change the boss, like... You know, it's kind of, it's a lot of stuff. And if you're going basic, it's not so bad. Oh, yeah, that's Butt Spot. If you don't know what Butt Spot is, basically every... Few messages, every, like, 20 messages or so, it... It... it or not 20 messages, it's random, but... Oh! I don't know why I moved the stick forward. That's not how you're supposed to do that. Um, that was really bad. I did not mean to do that at all. I wasn't trying to move. I don't know why I kept moving the stick. Like, that's not how you do that. That was scary. It, it was a lot of fun on this DF when I tried it. There's a whole, there's a really good editor for it called Smile, which is Super Metroid Integrated Level Editor. Um, and it's very good. There's a lot of tools for that game. Very well developed. Um... But yeah, it's really cool, honestly. It's really easy to, like, make rooms and stuff and, like, have, like, designs. Yeah, I should have done that. I had this crazy idea, though, for, for a ROM hack for that game. Like, I never put it to, in place, though, but it was, like, a really cool idea that I thought would have been really interesting. Like, basically, you would finish the game, but the game wouldn't be over yet, and you have more game to do. Like, after you th thought you beat the game, but I never did it. I quit before then. But I thought of it in my mind pretty well, like... <laughs> while mowing the lawn one day. This was like two years ago. So I, the last time I worked on that on the hack was back in... When I was a freshman. So I think... Uh... So like start of 2016... Was the last time I even touched the, that hack. Are you? I, this this have my PB too. Some of these moves are way too precise. That sounds like it could be interesting. Do, does it? I mean, it could work. I feel like it's just gonna be hard. But they could make it work. I mean, what if that's the route they're gonna do with the Prime Four? Because you know, like Breath of the Wild was open world. This is an open. This game is an open world, but it's in each kingdom. It's technically open world because you're not restricted in what moons you have to get. You can get whatever moon you want. You don't have to beat the boss. You know, get the multi moon if you don't want to. There's all other alternatives. Say the thing, Cascade. I think you have to, but like so, Breath of the Wild, Odyssey. I wonder if Prime Four they're gonna go like maybe a, kind of an open world style. We'll see what happens. I mean, kind of if they do, it'd be kind of interesting to see how they pull it, how it plays out. 
I wonder how much open world you could do, though, with a Metroid game. What's that fish waffle? I definitely am not opposed to the idea. I'm just, I'm not sure how it would work out. Any ETA? Uh, 2019, the earliest. That's your ETA. I'm gonna say, like, spring 28, 2019. But, that's the earliest possible, I would think. You're gonna be dead by then? Wow, that sucks. Uh, not really. If you follow the path, no. I mean, not, you're not technically no. I mean, with sequence breaks, it becomes that, but more or less. But I wouldn't say it's open world. Like, if you follow the path, you're kind of restricted, really restricted. Now, if you try to sequence break it, though, you can kind of, like, skip things, like... Uh, okay. But I wouldn't say it's open world, though. You can make it kind of open world, but not. Yeah. Artifact, yeah, the only, only thing that's out of order is the artifacts. That doesn't matter. Uh, I did not want to do that. I meant to do camera, but okay. This was not a good seaside. Yeah, this is not a good seaside at all. I'm sure you will. I'm probably going to do it. Run the game anyway, like regardless of how it is. So I've run every Metro game. Well. Except Federation Force. Haha. <laughs> and um, Hunters. But I've done every other one. Oh, and Pinball if you count that. I mean, you, could, you can count it. You can run Pinball. But <laughs> it's not really a fun run. Because it's just playing Pinball. Yeah, that was a bad seaside. Yeah, I feel like for Metroid style, that's gonna be hard. But who knows? I mean, technically, Metroid is open world in a sense. You're not restricted in which boss you have to fight first, like Ridley or Kraid. You can opt to, you know, fight one or the other. Obviously, you could skip them with sequence break, but. You're not restricted in which one you have to do first. Like, so it's kind of open world? That's not really open world definition. It's more of just not not linear. Like, Metroid's just not linear at all. I think it's crazy to think that the first Metroid game is not even, it's not linear. All right, I just saved time. My PB died at the start of this kingdom. Uh, I did one point. I don't know if I would do if I would do it again. Maybe a different category, not all main quests. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. I could very well still run Breath of the Wild at some point. I probably will eventually. I probably will do it. End up doing it. But it's not a high priority. It's pretty low. But it's a chance. But because watching people run the game kind of looks fun. But I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's something I want to run. But, I mean, I've tried before. I learned a little bit of all main quests. Or not a little bit, I learned like 40 minutes into the run. But. I was joking before, Zeke. I guess you weren't listening. I said it too. I have played through Beth Well and I beat in it. I have a lot of hours into it. Currently working 100%ing it. Yeah, I was joking before when I said I haven't played it. I played it in June. Like, I bought it when it came out, but I couldn't play it until June, because I didn't have a Switch yet. And I knew I was going to get a Switch anyways, like, when I was, when I was going to go home for the summer. So I bought, I just wanted Breath of the Wild, because, like, you know. I was inevitable I was getting a Switch, because I wanted a Switch really badly, and I had the money. But I was going to wait until I was out of, until it was summer. So I had Breath of the Wild, but I couldn't play it for three months. But it was fine, because I was working on my 3D Zelda playthroughs. Like, I was working on Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. Like, I still, I was playing Twilight Princess, I think. And I still had Skyward Sword to go through after that. So, it was fine. It gave me time to play those two games and get 100% in them. Before I even touched Skyward Sword. Or Breath of the Wild. So, it worked out, honestly. It's only, it's only 3D Zelda left I have to, have to get 100% on, is Breath of the Wild. It's gonna be a long process. I'm on my way, though, but... Oh. 
too lazy. I think this game this game's better than Galaxy in my opinion. I, mean, I think it's the best one, but it's the most fun I've ever had with a Mario game, for sure. And it's not because it's the newest one, it's because like it's legitimately a good game, like a really good game. I mean, it's not real bad 3D Mario, I mean, honestly. Or Mario, oh, there are, there are bad Mario games, but, like, there's no, like, bad 3D Mario. I mean, I don't think 64 is that good, honestly. I think the DS version is way better. And actually fun, but... I, ba I barely played this, the original version, I just can't stand it. just don't care about it. I can watch it, but I just can't play it. It's just too much. Uh, it's just not fun to play. Yeah, I don't think it has. Like, it's first time it was fantastic. And it still is, like, a... Iconic in that way, like it, it, it pioneered that style of game, or not pioneered, but maybe like it, it brought you know that genre to like that style to life. I don't know if there's any other games before it, maybe that did that style, but it really like brought that style to life and like kickstarted everything. But I don't think it's held up. I think all the successes are better. But it's a good starting point, honestly. Like, they really hit the nail on the head with that game, like, with that style. Like, it's a really cool style of game. Like, I love this collecting style. We collect moons or stars or whatever. Like, it's really fun. But I don't think it's... Compared to its successors, I don't think it's that good. That's just me, though. A lot of people agree, disagree, like... A lot of people still think that one's the best one, but I don't know how you can say that, but everyone has their own opinion. But whatever. No, you really didn't like 3D World? I mean, I only played it as like a co-op, but... So I don't really know too much, like... I mean, it's okay, I guess. It was alright, I guess. It was kind of... I like 3 Land. I played I play 3 Land a lot. For sure. That was a good game. I feel like it got overshadowed. By 3D uh, World. Honestly. Oh, you jerk. Get out of here. Like, I think 3 Land was really good. He's got... 3D World just like... It, it just forgets about 3 Land. Uh, what? This might screw. This is the cycles are screwed up. I think. No. I'll wait it out, honestly, because I don't trust myself anymore. And I guess the same goes for speedrunning. Even like seeing a three-year-old speedrun is really cool, but I think it has that same problem as um. Like it just has a problem of like the cat suit is just OP. That's the biggest problem. Like the cats, that's all it is. It's just cat suit. It's like a really broken item. It's kind of like cape in, in Super Mario World, but I think it's more broken. Well, it depends. I don't know. I don't know. Cape is kind of broken, honestly. <laughs> Let's be real. But I think the speed one's more interesting for Super Mario World. Even though the cat's is really cool, what you could do with it. Like, it's broken, but it's like... I don't know, there's a lot of cool tricks. In the world, even though you have a cape. Did I get 100% in 3 land? It's just a really unique concept, because they brought this 3D Mario style to the... 
3DS, but it wasn't like your traditional 3D Mario. It was like, it's like, it's three. It's like the same style. Like it's 3D levels and 3D environments, but you collect things and like, it's like traditional levels. Like it was really cool. Is it a slideshow? Wait, am I? I'm probably dropping frames. I hate my internet school, dude. Like, my bit rate set to like 2200, 2250. School upload is like 95 or something. But I dropped frames because I wouldn't how many people use it. Kind of a shame. Like, I want to stream this to 2500 or maybe 3000. Because I have quality options, I'm pretty sure. Unless I don't, I'll be sad about it. And, like, because that would make this game look really good. But, I can't because I'm gonna drop, like, like yesterday's stream, I streamed at like 2500 because I want to try it. I dropped 2500 frames, or no, 5000 frames. Like, what? Even though I'm on Ethernet, like, it sucks. I like I think this one's better. I mean, Galaxies are probably oh, I are just behind this game though, honestly. I think I like Galaxy more than two, a little bit though. Probably because I got it as a gift. That's more memorable. Or was Galaxy two? I just played because all oh, Galaxy, you know. And that was Galaxy was good, so. I, mean, I do like the addition of Yoshi and the green stars. But, I think Galaxy's better. It's more nostalgic, if that makes sense. But that's not why I think it's better. I think it's just more memorable for me. For me, it's more memorable. That's the game I played a lot more, because that's what I had. It was mine. I mean, my brother got Galaxy 2. I still played it, obviously. It doesn't matter who owned it. Like, just shared games. But, I don't know. To me, Galaxy's more, like, memorable. And I like the, I like the I love the observatory. You haven't seen anything Galaxy Two? Have you been living under a rock? Real quick, like serious question. Have you been living under a rock this whole time? <laughs> it's not supposed to be an insult, either. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how you don't know about Galaxy. Anything Galaxy Two? I never ever did that level. World record. I have the right moons too. I've chosen. Have you still still like it's been around for a while? Like have you not seen like gotten even? It's surprising. Also, wow. <laughs> I'm sure. I'll, oh yeah, of course. You'll enjoy it. It's very good. It basically took what Galaxy had, but I think improved on some things. I still like Galaxy more, but it improved on things. The Gal like, for sure. Wow. How did I save that much time, dude? And there was something I did like. Like, I think Galaxy 2 definitely has a better post game than Galaxy. For sure. 100% dude. Like it's way better. I mean that might have the best post game honestly. Of any 3D Mario. I mean, Sunshine didn't have a post game, neither did 64. The Galaxy 2's post game I think was good. Although I like Galaxy's, the purple coins would be really nice. That was really cool, like the flying Mario thing. Outfit, or whatever. But, but the Galaxy 2 is better. Oh yeah, like the ending of Galaxy is more memorable. I don't even remember the ending of Galaxy 2, honestly. But I think the Galaxy ending is so memorable. Uh, I'm not upside down. How you doing, Rover? 
Nice, nice, nice. I did! Yes, I did, finally. I never kicked Butt Spot, but I think they had an update like a year ago or when I last used it. And so I dropped it from every channel, or most channels. And I never brought it back. And so I was like, you know what, like last week I was like, no, oh, let me bring it back. So I brought it back uh, um, yesterday. Why? Because it's funny. I like the bot. Uh, that pi yes, yes, yeah, I remember the picture. Hey, DF, do you want to do my Valentine? Oh, I need a message. Actually, who does want to be my Valentine? I thought that was too many rolls. You know what the funny part is, Rover? First of all, that's unfortunate, and that sucks. That 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 has this happening. Second of all, is it bad that I was thinking I was actually considering getting you something, but I wouldn't know how to get it to you, so I was like, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'm not doing anything. Just like I don't know. Why not? But I don't have any way to get it to you, so. Oh well. I don't know if it'd be weird either if I did that. It probably would be, honestly. So, yeah, maybe not. I still wouldn't have a way to, a way to get it to you. So, it's kind of pointless. Ah, I'm sweating in this thing, dude. Yeah, I think when I beat Moon, I'm gonna take this jacket off because it's... I'm actually I'm really hot in this. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, duh. What? That's weird. Or that I can't get it to you. I hate that trick, dude. So dumb. Well, I hope everything's all right with you and Ethan, honestly. Oh yeah, that makes okay. Never mind. <laughs> Cause like, how can you not? I don't know. How can you not think of your own, like, significant other? 
or getting something for them on Valentine's Day. Come on. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves, I guess. It's hot in this room, dude. I'm getting, I'm getting uncomfortable right now. Thirty-third? It's almost three years. Also, DF never answered my question. I guess he doesn't want to be my Valentine. Fine, DF. I see how it is. Moose already asked. Wow. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's your dog. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> Sounds fun, Rover. Not really. Struggles of dating someone who's in college, and you're not in college. <laughs> I second that. There might be a bad fights for these two. Oh! Oh! No! What should I do a damage list? Fudge! That was really good too. I mean, I think it's harder though. Like, if you're in college, if you're both in college, I think it's fine. More or less. But high school versus in college, like, that's kind of, that's harder. I would think. Because high schools were more restricted. That makes sense. I don't know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make some sense out of this. I don't think I could do it. Personally. I mean, to be honest, I don't think <laughs> me in a relationship is a questionable thing anyways, because I don't think I'm ready. I would have to fix myself up. I'm not socially ready, I don't think, honestly. I mean, I'm not interested right now, anyways, to be honest. Alright. I mean, I would have to find, I would have, ideally I would find someone who, like, enjoys things that I like. And is, like, accept, will accept the fact that I'm a quiet person who doesn't, like, like, go out and do things crazy. Like, I like this, I like being simple, quiet, you know, to myself, more or less, like, it's very simple. Like, I'm not one to party at all or go out and do things like that. I go out with friends, I like, at home especially, like, I don't know, I don't know why I did that. Like, yeah, obviously, I see my friends and stuff, but, like, I don't go out. Out. Like, I go see my friends, I, like, go to, we go to a restaurant and that's it, you know, chill at one of the houses or something, I don't know. But, 
I go out in public and, I don't know. It is weird, like, the thought of having someone who, like, constantly cares about you and wants to see you, not all the time, but, like, wants to hang out with you and who's there for you. Wow, that's sounding oddly like someone else I know. Wow, huh, isn't that weird? Oh my god, you almost killed yourself. <laughs> Sounds exactly like someone I know, huh? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I mean, not really. It's funny though. So that's your privacy? I mean, they could be. Do you have friends in high school? Do you have? I'm sure, you did. Uh, hello? I don't know, Rover. <laughs> oh, you did not. Okay. I mean, some people are just different. I know you're just you're different in that regard. Like, you, I know you who you are. You know? I've known you for a while. One day we'll get, we'll see each other in person, but you know, like you're more, you know, you are to yourself more. You know, and that's respe I respect that. I don't have many friends, honestly, myself. Like, I basically have my, like, five friends, maybe, from high school that I still talk to and see occasionally. And then I have my friends that I met at college, like, freshman year, that I see, like, once in a while. But I haven't made any new friends, really. Like, I don't know. Focus. I'm not very outgoing, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And I don't, like, make new friends, usually. Like, any people I've... There's some people, obviously, from my classes that I've gotten close with. Like, not close with, but I've become friendly with, because I see them there in a lot of my classes every semester. But that's because of class. Like, I'm not, like, because I actively looked for them and happened to stumble on them, you know? It's just happened, you know? Because I feel comfortable with who I know and who I met. Like, I don't care to meet new people. I forgot what number I was on. Okay. That's fine. I'll take the time loss. I, I forgot what... I forgot again. I wasn't paying attention. I should count the number. It's five. Five's the last one. Okay, that was pretty good. Also, DF, you have a, you have a dog. Like, oh, you actually have two dogs. Like, that's also fine, too. Like, you know... Having a pet can be a good, not, I wouldn't say a full replacement, but it can be a good, you could say quote unquote replacement, but not even a replacement, just like a, you know, can be a substitute, not a full substitute, because it's not a human. Obviously, you can't do everything, you know, that you, you know, the full interaction of a human, obviously, but having a companion like that is a big plus, I think, I would say. I'm going to read it. I was talking about you. If you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it like that. Because you do care, you know, about me a little bit. You worry sometimes more than you should. Maybe. But we're just friends, obviously. Like... <laughs> That's what I was talking about. But I mean, like, more, more like, intimate. Like, oh, you know, this person is, like, 100%. They're yours. Not, they're yours. But you know what I mean. Like, they're for you, with you, love you type deal. Because that's obviously, you have your person. <laughs> like, that's not what I'm implying. 
That's what I mean. I don't know what that's like. He's a predator, get away from me! Oh my god, DM, no! Don't feel that way, man. World record. Oh god, no, DM. <laughs> DM. Anger? Interesting. <laughs> so then, let me ask you, DF, if you don't mind. How does interacting with people through online and getting close to people that you know online... Oh, I know, no, I know, I know, <laughs> obviously. But how is it diff- how is- how is it that you're able to- I guess it's because you're not really seeing them in person. But like, what makes it different for you, let's say, to get close with someone through the internet? And become really friendly with them and talk to them a lot. Obviously, you, you, you're not physically there. Like, so that helps. But, like, what makes it different for you? Because I'm curious. And I've met a lot of cool people through Twitch and stuff, so... That I consider friends. Even though I literally met one of them in person. That was scary as heck. Yeah, true. Okay. So you don't feel comfortable doing eye contact with people you don't know? I mean, that's fine, honestly. Like, if... I'm not really good with, like, talking to new people. Like, I generally just... I'm quiet. Like, if I'm... Like, I'll be honest. If I'm in a, in a room with people... It's like a meeting or something. Not like a meeting, like a... Yeah, like a floor meeting. Or like, you know, it's basically like people who live near you. All you have to meet with your RA, and like we, you know, the RA talks and stuff. And there's people in the other room, like in the room. Like I try to avoid looking at people because I feel like kind of awkward. In a way, that makes sense. I don't know. I'm weird. Like I feel uncomfortable. Like if I'm in a room with people that I don't know really well or at all, I I feel awkward a little bit. Not really awkward though. Like I don't know. It depends. I feel like I put my down, set myself down a little too much. Like it's hard for me to like not feel uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Or I get... I don't know. Like, I feel nervous. I don't know what the word I was looking for. Like, I feel nervous. Um, okay. Alright, let's not forget the moon and save a minute. Yeah, I'm shy, I guess you'd say that's the word. Wanna save your card? Oh no, Sal. <laughs> I just saved the minute. Yeah, let's go, dude. I literally just saved the minute. That's embarrassing. Butt contact! Whoa! Butt spot, please. I miss butt spot, dude. You have to think about it? Okay. Hope I'm not getting too personal, do you? I'm also talking about myself, too, so it's, I feel fine about it. If it's ever too much, let me know. Like, I just want to have a good conversation. I think this is a great conversation. Getting to know each other, you know, more. I mean, I already know you, but you know what I mean. Like, getting to know each other more. I'm just curious. I've known you for a while now, but I never really delved too deep in, into this stuff. Which is understandable, because not everyone that wants to talk about their personal like, life and how they react with, uh, interact with people and how they, their socially, like, their skills, social skills. I'm not comfortable with it. I mean, I don't, on stream, I never talk about this stuff. Like, I'm never like, yeah, I'm like this, I don't talk to people, you know. I mean, I brought up a few, I mean, I think I brought up a few times, though I've never had a girlfriend, obviously. <laughs> I've talked about this. Thing. Don't lose the minute in the fight. Yeah. I mean, it's not like free minute because I still have to like try in other kingdoms, but in, at least in Lake Kingdom, it's a free minute. Now, assuming I don't make any mistakes in Lake Kingdom, which is very, I mean, it's possible.
Uh, I've never done that before in my life, 100%. I'm glad we're having this conversation. Like, it's kind of nice. It's a change of pace. Change of conversation. I like it. We never delve into this stuff when we talk about these kind of things. And it changes it up. Let me ask you then, DF. Oh! That was scary. That would have been devastating if I fell. If I were to meet up with you, would you act. Would you be the way that you're describing yourself when you meet people? Or what? That I'm curious about. I mean, I would be nervous because. That's just me when I meet some of the first time. Well, you bet, Robert, when I when I first got there to the party area, I was nervous as heck. I already told you this thousands of times. Like the fact that I was like, oh crap, she's in this building with me. Like, like that was a mind-boggling. That was a crazy experience. Like, oh my gosh. I'm actually in the same exact building as this 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 person that I've been talking to for ever like <laughs> but I was like oh my god it's real like I'm not dreaming right I'm all crazy but it's true but the fact that I was like oh my gosh I'm in the same room as her or not same room same building as her and eventually it did become the same eventually it did become the same uh room but I was like oh my gosh yeah you were I was a little nervous that I was meeting you and then you were having a panic attack because of me. Like, what is this? I mean, I think that's just adorable. But, you know. No, it's me. It's always me, dude. It's never not me. That's kind of, I find that, you know, cool. But I was fine after that, you know? All I know is I just couldn't stop smiling. Every time I saw it, like... I mean, you were just doing the same thing. I noticed. Come on. So you're somebody glanced over, you start smiling, like... <laughs> I couldn't help it either. Like, it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's have a good let's have a good post game. Clocks. I could have had the chance to meet uh, Zara. Actually, those of you know who he is, my brother met him, and his friend, like who's also my friend, met him. And I was in school. I went back to school, and then, like, a few days later, they met. I was like, are you kidding me, dude? It was in the town that's right next to me, like, at home. Like, the town that's right over. And they had pizza. And I went back to school, like, the few days before. It's like, you, like, seriously? I could have actually met him in person, had pizza with him. So mad about that, dude. It's like, I just missed. Oh, of course, dude. Of course, I practice this. I don't get it. Hey, I mean, I didn't feel like I should have. That's why. I was like, I don't know if I should do doing this. If I should even do it. Didn't feel right. 
Well, who was the one who had their boyfriend tell you, hey, do you want to dance with him? Like, the fact that your boyfriend was, like, telling you, asking, hey, do you want to dance with me? Like, asking, like, if I wanted, if you want to dance with me? Come on, that says something. You should have done it. I mean, I'll be nervous. Obviously, like, really nervous, but... Oh, that's pretty funny. Like, come on. Let's be real. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> sure, Nova, what's up? But yeah, that, that was fun. Oh, baby! Let's freaking... I did have your dance with you, though. That is true. Could've been a longer dance, honestly. Like, if I had actually the dance afterwards, but... It's fine! Honestly, you know what? It's pretty surreal, the whole experience. Uh... Well, rip time, dude. Of course. I get a first try, and then I can't do this trick. Not even hard, dude. I'm so mad about that. Uh... This is a really good Mushroom Kingdom until that happens. I know, right? I get to see him in person. It's because you're upside down, Nova. I'm not upside down. I have one drink left. IMO. Ah, uh, okay. Well, this is wrong. Oh! Okay. Well. This is wrong. Okay. Uh. Oops. I messed up. <laughs> it's fine. Honestly, it's okay. I'm not gonna go for it. Alright, so I messed up the order for some reason. I forgot it was cap next, but it's okay. I shouldn't lose much time. I might lose a few seconds because of extra menuing. But it's actually not a big deal. If I did Cascade first, that'd be a problem. Because there's a, uh, a hint art here for Cascade. I went to the lake before uh, Cap Kingdom by accident. So I, I do I have, to do, I have to go to Cap after this, which is fine. Like, it's not, it doesn't affect the route or anything. Like, I'm just going to lose a few seconds. I'm having to do this first, because it's extra, ma uh, extra map travel, or movement. Oh, they're technically interchangeable, but Cascade has to be after Lake. Like, otherwise, you miss out on the moon. So I can't split until after Cap. So you'll see the time save when I when I finish cap. I mean, I could technically do Cascade as well, but I want to have some splits to go against for when I run this game, like run this category again. Like I don't want to have like no splits, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lose a little bit more time, a few seconds to. Uh, Cascade after cap. Cause I could like I could do Cascade next, but I have to skip the next split as well, or this split as well. And I want to do that. Oh, 
Although it would probably be faster at this point, actually. It would probably be faster, but not much. Like a half. quarter of a second, maybe. If that. It's fine. Like, as long as I don't royally screw up Cap or Cascade, this run is on, um, 2 uh, to a 9 pace. <sighs> my back is itchy and I can't reach it. I need, oh, I should have brought my Bear Claw Scratcher. Tests grows in a row. I wonder if I have class tomorrow. Like, I wonder if I. We'll see. I mean, I'll see if I have class tomorrow, honestly. I may not. I mean, it, it depends on if my professor like feel, is feeling better. Does not have class Wednesday or Monday for two of my classes because my professor that teaches that class had the flu? I mean, I would assume I still don't have class, but I'm gonna have to go there, see if there's a note on the door that's saying it's canceled. Find out. Guess who's not butt dying for them? I mean, <laughs> studying! Oh, I have the wrong one. You're not studying for them? I'm so hungry! I mean, my back's so itchy. I'm so glad I'm done with Calc, honestly. I mean, it was okay. Crap, how, I, don't, now I don't know the moon count. I think I got everything, but like, I'm worried that I forgot something, potentially. I did this first. It's 14 moons, I think, here. Ah. <sighs> uh. Wait a minute. That's supposed to be. That's supposed to say 201. Wait, no, it's not. I'm sorry. After cap, it's 201. Not here. You get one less here. Okay. See, this is freaking me out, because now I feel like I forgot a moon. Yeah, you get 21 Cascade. I forget like I forgot a moon, but I don't know. I don't think I did. But it's because I did this out of order. So now I don't know, like, honestly. It's scaring me. Because after Cap Kingdom, it says 201. But I think you get one less. You only get 14 in, in uh, Lake, so... I should be fine. Oh, uh, did you watch Spike? Well, yeah, I know. I can math. I'm talking about... Because at the end of Cap Kingdom, Robert, like this kingdom. Let me do this after Mushroom Kingdom. You have 201 when you return the moons. But here I had 200, but that's because I did Mush Lake first. Oh, uh, nice and pog. No? Who'd you watch? But yeah, I want to run that category. Like, basically, once you get to Mushroom Kingdom 1... Or no, so you do the moon, right? You get five moons on the moon. Kerbis? Okay, I never heard of him. But yeah, you get five moons on the moon, right? And then you do, do the moon. Mushroom Kingdom, one. You get a bunch of moons there. And then from there on out, you just don't even... You don't return the moons to the Odyssey for a long time. So you return like 200-something moons at the same time. Or 300 moons at the same time. But yeah, my PB missed that. They actually it whiffed the moon somehow. Yeah, 215. Yeah. Oh, wait. 
You want to after Lake? Well, after... Uh... Yes. It should be. Yeah, 215. That's right, yeah. I usually don't think about it too much. I think if like, I have certain ones that I know of. Like, when you finish Bowser's, you should have 173. That's not the key number. For, like, pre-moon. 173 entering the moon. If you don't, I'll use screwed up somewhere. Yeah, honestly, Dark Side's not that. It's okay, but it's not that great. Dark. I, mean, I say this a lot. Dark Side's really good. So honestly, like I remember, I said I would come back. For, like I'll do any percent, then I'll come back to this category and try to get a 205 or something. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore. Like I honestly would rather would run Darker Side. It's a cooler run as well. And it doesn't have Dark Side in it, so it's better automatically. Dark Side's boring as heck. <laughs> but I honestly may not come back to this category. I mean, I'll probably come back to it eventually, but I'm probably not gonna come back to it after any percent. Probably after I get a 113 or something, at any percent, I'll probably learn Darker Side. And then eventually I'll come back to this category when I feel like it. But like I said, this feels like a beginner. It's like it feels like an intermediate, like it's like a. a it feels like a toned down. Darker side, like it's not at least not as good one, like a we like a watered down version of it. Cause you get a taste, you get a taste for for having to do cleanup and like extra moons and stuff, but not much. Would I run darker side? I don't know. I just said I would, like before that. Darker side is probably the best category. I mean, any percent obviously, but category for collecting things, darker side is probably the best. And eventually, I do world peace for fun. Be yeah, honest, I wonder. I wonder if world peace is a better any percent. You still get the same amount of moons, but you do more. You get more done. You you, you do the, the, all the story elements basically. Like you get all the multi moons, like the the main story multi moons. So I wonder if it's a better category. And you have like clips and more clips and stuff. And I don't know. Yeah, you get more than half the moons. But I don't know. I don't. I may not come back to this category for a long time, or for a while. I mean, I could aim for top ten, I guess, in this category. But it's not like a huge priority. I don't know. All right, we're good. We're good. Holy time save, dude! All multi moons. That's world. Oh, all multi moons is well. It's technically darker side because I mean darker side gets all the multi moons in the game. So also that time save. Holy frick, dude! Oh my lord! Oh, <laughs> those are really screw up this kingdom. I have a huge PB in my hands. No, it's not. I mean, you ran corruption, so you can do it. You also ran Majora's Mask stuff, like oh, the Zelda stuff, you know, and that's long. But you're playing, yeah, you're playing a lot more, so it probably feels longer. No, you do. You don't. You don't get every story moon, but you, yeah, multi moons. Yeah, you get. In darker side, you get all of them because it's just faster too. Because you need world peace. You need world. Pe Here's the thing. In order to actually, you need world. Well, they don't need world peace, but for some kingdoms, you do. Like Snow Kingdom, you need world peace to, for example. 
to get all the moons. Like, get a lot of moons. Like... Slum Kingdoms, you can't- more, more moons unlock when you get world peace. So you just go for world peace to get more moons unlocked. So... You're gonna- you aim for world peace in every kingdom, automatically. You get like 36 moons from Toadette in that category. But this category is like 11. Yeah, fully complete, fully completing every kingdom. I'm gonna wait it out. Yeah, all the all the story multi moons is uh, gets you world peace. So there's a category that's called world peace, which gets the same amount of moons as any percent, which is 124. But you route in multi moons instead and different little different moons. See you, Nova. So it's basically completing the main game and getting all the multi moons. That's that's world peace. So it's very similar to any percent. Like some a lot of king, a few kingdoms are the same. But it's really, really similar in most regards. But any kingdom has two multi moons obviously is different because any percent doesn't get them. Like for example, any percent only gets one multi moon from wooded and one multi moon from sea actually doesn't get any seaside multi moons. Doesn't get any sand multi moons. There's two in there in that kingdom. Oh, this cat, this cascades are rough. But it's okay. You know what? I have a lot of time to balance bounce off of. Like it's okay. Like, I have a lot of leeway here. I'm not too worried. My goal is just 209 right now. Like, it's okay. Yeah, you do more. So that's why I'm wondering, is it a better any percent? Like, is it better than any percent? Like, I wonder if it is. No! I'm dumb. Isn't it interesting how common that enemy is, DF? The enemy that has like, the two floating hands? Like, it's in, S it's in 64, it's in Galaxy, it's in this, it's in OT. Like, it's such a common boss fight, you know? Like, the, the main body and then, like, floating hands. I don't know what time top 10 is right now. I haven't looked. Don't hit it, don't hit, don't hit the top, don't hit the top. Oh! So I want to check what top 10 is for me. I think it's like 204 or something, like, crazy. Alright, so that was a slow cascade, honestly. It could have been better. But I, you know, it's okay.
What is top 10? Can someone check, please, for dark side? That was almost gold. <sighs> Some close encounters that fu that run. Two hundred six twenty one. Probably not then. I actually crashed into the door of my PB, so I purposely waited. I hope I have enough coins. Should have enough. Like I got so many extra. Eleven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get eleven wounds from Twitter. So this is a nice chill split. You can just relax pretty well. Like, cause you finish like, you finish all the backtracking. Now you just you just relax for a little bit while you get all these moons. You can take a breather before you finish it off for good. All right, one more. Okay, we're good. I probably like a lot of coins. Like always. So that one run. What my people? Well, not my PB. Two, two PBs ago. I almost forgot that moon was there. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe this might be a gold, actually. <laughs> Is it? That's funny. Alright, I have like 10 to save on this dark side stuff. Let's please go fast. I just take it so slow because I don't know what to do. I think it's my mech fight was bad, that's why. Because like, I think I took... I got I was up there, but I think I had sloppiness. Alright, I'm going to focus 100%, so see you later, chat. You know, it's not really hard. It's not hard, I'm just want to focus on this, so... Oh yeah, it was. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. When the run's over. <laughs> I want to finish this strong up. Oh, too much of an angle curve. Right there. 
Oh, uh, I see. He's over there. I'm not going to get him in time. Oh my god. Ooh! What? Dude, are you kidding me? Why, dude? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my, well. Thank God for the padding. How did I die to him? What? For real? Oh, good thing I have that. I have that nice um time pad, like pad. I haven't died since my first run. In this category. Oh, that cost me like 40 seconds, a minute probably. <sighs> well, whatever. That's honestly the hardest one. In Dark Side. Like, for real. It's the, that's the hardest one. So, it's whatever. I got it over with. This is why I hate Dark Side, though. It just sucks. This part sucks. Of the run. Well, at least favorite part of the run. This is not fun to do. Maybe me focusing so hard didn't help. They maybe just choke. I mean, I was the last hit. So. Like, that was the last hit of the fight. Wow, perfect Harriet. I mean, I already had time save on the split, so it's... No, it doesn't help, actually. No, that was like a minute lost. Whatever. Just move on, who cares? It happened, you know what? It's okay. That's the hardest brutal to fight on this category. Like, on the, on the dark side. Like, it is, legitimately. Moon physics really make it difficult. Should probably do that fight. But it's not a big deal, honestly. I'm still gonna meet my goal as long as I don't die again. It's embarrassing though. Cause I haven't died since my four hour, 21 minute PB. <laughs> AKA that, like, run that I literally had no practice for and just did. This run had like a, or I lost like a lot of time in Lost Kingdom. Like the middle of this run was okay, I guess. Maybe I don't know. I really wish there's a way to skip this though. Got it. I don't know the timing for that, so I don't go for it. Boom! I went for it. Alright, that's how you do it then. Okay, cool. That saved me a little time back, but not too bad. Oh, three hour, three minutes ahead, dude, and I choked it. It should still be like a two minute PB. As long as if the mech goes really well. Which isn't hard on Dark Side. It's not hard to ask for. It's pretty easy. There's the first time I ever got an early hit on him. On the moon.
Oh, yeah, it's cutting. My bad. I had, I had 20 seconds to save here. Jeez. Rip. Wow, I had a lot to save here. That's not even going to cost me a minute. Are you serious? Well, technically it is because it's... Okay. That's, that's all I'm losing? No, it's not a 207! No! Wait. No, it is, it is, it is. <gasps> come on, come on, go faster, faster, faster! Yes, 207! Oh my god! No, I did it! Let's go! Dude! Oh my god. Let's go, man. Fifteenth <sighs> place. Fifteenth place. Let's go, dude. Let's go.